throw it. I'm gonna borrow it. Yeah, give, give it right back. And that's when I put your leg in the right position. There we go. This way I'm just gonna contact this right ilium and basically bring it back up since it's down. So right inside there. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in today's video with some new additions also. All of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from the channel. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see. And she's just coming from teaching the yoga class, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she already apologized for being sweaty. <laughs> So one of the things we noticed right away, and she said that she could even feel the difference too, is when I get down on the pelvis, I always like to start right here. These are what we call the posterior superior iliac spine, basically the bumps in the back right here. And I get right below that and I push on one side and push on the other, and she was even saying you can feel that it's difference. It's so different. So one of the other things I like to do is I came down here and I check her leg length. And if you see right there, Right leg is slightly shorter than the left. I wouldn't give it a full inch. I'd give it maybe three quarters of an inch off. <laughs> and then as we come up here, you get nice and even. So what that lets me know, yeah. Actually, first I check this too. Yes, yeah, so you can even see, she was already saying that both of her quads are pretty tight, but we can even see that the right quad, uh, I'm sorry, the right heel goes closer to the butt than the left. Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to correct it so that way the nerves going out are evenly distributed and that those nerves that go to your organs are actually starting to work better too. So there's less likelihood of you now developing some sort of digestive issues or uh, hormonal issues or any like kidney issues, anything like that. So let me have you lay on your side facing me this way, please. You rest your head right there, cool. Nice, now you bend the top leg, straighten the bottom. I'm gonna steal this from you just a little bit. Steal it. I'm gonna steal borrow it. it. I'm gonna borrow it. I'm gonna borrow it. I'm gonna give it right back. And that's when I put your leg in the right position. There we go. This way I'm just gonna contact this right ilium and basically bring it back up since it's down. So right inside there. Oh! Good. <laughs> right, so there's a little baby pop too. Oh! So that's how you... That must sound real good on camera. <laughs> right, that's how you switch over to the other side, please. Five more. Oh, we'll see. So, yeah, because this is a bigger one. So this one's the sacrum. So right there. And curl up, sweet. Nice and relaxed right there. Let's so make it around that sacrum. Yeah, and this needs to go out. Good. Just like that. That's Not better. <laughs> Let's have you go face down. Cool. Let's see what we got. And we come down here. Legs, and you come bring the camera right there too. So legs are perfectly even now. And you'll be able to watch this video afterwards too, so you can see that I'm not making it up. That's for sure. <laughs> and then they're staying even. We'll pop in there. And that's a lot more even as well. It feels easier on my left side. Yeah? Than it did before. I love that. Down on that side, so I just go like this. <laughs> not bad, right? I like it. <laughs> so, it's a gentler way of doing this adjustment because if for all you nerds out there that like physics force equals mass times acceleration so what we're doing is we're using less mass but more acceleration using the drop table so it allows us to still get the same amount of force so this is really good for you know larger people if they're like much 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 bigger than me it's really good for pregnancy and it's good for people that are in like severe acute pain and one of the things we were noticing too is that her right side is just a lot more tone than her left when we go right along the spine. So especially right here, 
right in that rib cage. Do you feel how it's like kind of stiff and pushed backwards? Yeah, and I can always see it in pictures too. Oh, okay. So there we go. <laughs> this there's a bonus right there too. Your uh, legs back right there, cool. And now I want you to curl up your arms nice and tight like this. And then you can tuck your chin down. And what I want you to do is kind of curl forward from where my fingers are, right there, nice. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna contact this area. You're gonna take a breath in. And then as you let it out, I'm gonna lower you down onto the table and kind of give you like an extra uh, hug right there. Okay. Cool? Go in. All right, let's see, take a breath in. Good, and stay curled up. I'm gonna let it all the way out as I lower you down. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> Not bad, right? That felt great. Let's <laughs> have you relax your hands. Nice. So that's a way of pushing those ribs back to where I want them to go. And especially with yoga, you know, you really want to make sure that you're really symmetrical on each side. Just that way these different issues don't arise. Let's see. Yeah, so that's way better. Nice. And one of the things we notice too when we're doing our exam is that the right trap up here is a lot tighter. And you said you feel like it's tighter here than it is over here. Absolutely. And then when we were doing range of motion in her neck, we noticed that she was having more difficulty turning to the right side. So this lets me know that the nerves that come out of here that go to the trap are being interfered with. So we need to go just to the trap. So all we need to do is bring her head over to the side and push that back to where it needs to go. Cool. Right there. Let me keep that nice and relaxed. Beautiful. Nice, it's right in there. <laughs> it's always my favorite. Wow, how would you describe that? Exhilarating. Exhilarating. <laughs> Wild. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Definitely an action sports junkie. And then even as I'm pushing right here, you feel it's a little bit less tender. Yeah, I do. I feel it less. Wow. And also my neck just went through a roller coaster, so. <laughs> For the most part, it's gonna heal. We just wanna make sure it heals correctly. Because yeah. oftentimes if it heals and it never gets checked, it will heal incorrectly, so it's a lot more common for it to get injured again. Hence, three injuries to the same ankle. Yeah. Well, four. Four and a half. Yeah. Three and a half. Three and a half? Okay, let's see. So, do you know how many bones there are on the foot? I know that there's a shit ton of bones. Yes, <laughs> that's pretty close. That's a good estimate. Yes, yeah, so it's 26. 26. So what I'm doing is I'm feeling all 26 of the bones and the, how they articulate or line up with all the other bones to see which ones aren't moving and if they're moving correctly or not. Parts that I just want to yank you into this other room right oh here. <laughs> so right there. There it goes. That felt like freedom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is America. <laughs> um, and right here, so I always want to get, yeah, so right here, a lot of runners develop some pain in their big toe just from running so much. Yeah. And one of the areas that's oftentimes missed by a lot of professionals is right inside here. So by checking this area, yeah, that doesn't really want to move very much. So what I'm going to do is let me have you bend this knee. And bring it out your knee right there. Cool. And this way I just contact right in there. Yeah, and I'm just gonna bring that down. Like that. Is that pretty cool? Oh great. <laughs> <laughs> that one was in, wasn't as loud, but by allowing that to move correctly, it allows this area to not be so hypermobile. So if this area is less hypermobile, it's less prone to getting injured in the face. Uh yeah, then a little bit of the cue boy right over here is pushed out laterally. Mm -hmm. So we need to go. Good. Right there. That's where I feel really unstable too. Yeah, so that makes sense why it's sliding out. Yeah. And then even the navicular right here. Let's bring that down. Good. Perfect. Much better. Okay, let's check this guy. Let's see. Yeah. So it doesn't really want to go out like that. There it goes. Perfect. And then this one doesn't want to move either. Yeah, you definitely run 35 miles a week. <laughs> so you relax this foot? My feet do a lot for me. Let's see. It gets you from point A to point B. There we go. Perfect. Right in there. Nice. 
Nice. And this one you haven't had many issues with yet. Mm -mm. So that's good. So we still want to check it just to make sure. Ooh, nice. So that one's a lot better. Let me have you see. Overall, chiropractic in general, even your feet. Bringing your body back into alignment so that you can better use, utilize all of your muscles in the way that they're supposed to work in a balanced way so you have more function. That's what I would say. Yeah, no, it's perfect. It's literally by putting the body back into harmony so that way then when you are doing yoga or if you are sleeping or if you are running 35 miles a week, your body's actually able to be more balanced and it's more likely to be able to function and heal correctly. Mm -hmm. When we're out of alignment, both physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, anything like that, it creates dis-ease. So we're putting the body back to ease. Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. Put it on my Instagram a lot. Have you, you haven't been on Instagram no, a lot, So move forward a little bit, like a couple inches, good. So I stand behind you and I'm gonna just turn your head this way and adjust here first. We might do both sides. I just want to see what the first side does. So I reach under, you let your head fall against my chest, let this fall down, and then your head tilts just a little bit. Take a breath, how was that? It's good. It was a good pop, right? Yeah. Turn this way. Good, now let your head just collapse. Good. Got it. So now lie on your back. Good, so this is the stretch. I'm not gonna do it yet till you feel it, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you feel the stretch? No. Okay, you ready to do one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do a big, big breath in and blow it out. What'd you feel on that one? It's not like a big pull. I don't feel anything on my, on my back yet. Yeah. I'm going to do a little more now. Remember, we already did that top one. Mm -hmm. Now, move a little closer to me. Actually, lie face down next, okay? So your nose will be up here at the top. Mm -hmm. Do you like that neck release? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna grab your skin here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna have you lie on your side facing me. Yeah. Perfect. So we have to set them up just right. We're gonna bring this top knee up like this. The other one goes straight. Getting the arm through. Maybe move a little closer to the edge. So more, more, more. Good. I'm gonna hold your own arm up here and I'm gonna put my hand through. Mm -hmm. It's already starting to go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Got it. Let this knee fall. Good. Come the other side. Both legs straight. There it goes. Good. Lie on your back. Let's do another one, okay? Move closer to me now. I'm gonna crisscross your arms. Turn your face to this side. So you're gonna turn your face all the way this way and leave your face there. That was a good one, right? I'm gonna grab your ankle. Got it. Grab this ankle. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.